Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this video is about where to go to get your long stay visa to retire in Thailand or if you're under 50 what options you have to stay long term. Now I've spoken to key visa at length already um, and I've gone through all the main points about getting various types of visa with them and they asked me as I'm a native English speaker and was a friend of Darren for 10 years to explain everything on their behalf. Now you can see we're directly in front of, of a key visa. If I turn around uh, then we're going to have a walk through Big C while I explain all the options and various things which they've asked me to do. But before we start with all, all this information let me just show you on the map exactly where key visa is okay let me just show you on the map here you see the cursor that's central festival that's walking street that's Sukhumvit road you come down to where south patio road joins Sukhumvit road and then just near there is big sea south and there's a, along the side of big sea south is the side entrance and that's where key visa is so I'll just show you now so let's just drop that in and, and we'll show you exactly where it is so there is key visa now directly behind me is the side entrance of, B of Big C South okay got it guys okay let's carry on firstly many people are under the impression that key visa has closed down or is going to close down or be sold since the untimely passing of Darren but that's not the case at all it's still very much open and thriving now this is mainly due to the dedicated staff who have worked there for 15 years uh, and if you've ever been to Keen Visa you will have met them and they're the same staff who will have processed your visa last time you were there and they're a wealth of knowledge about any type of visa so before we actually start, you should know that all the COVID restrictions and rules have gone regarding entry, entering Thailand. It's just like it used to be before COVID. That includes no mandatory wearing of masks. Now firstly, we'll just talk about the normal tourist exemption stamp which you get at the airport when you arrive. So there are many countries where that applies. Now currently you get a 30 day stamp which can be renewed immigration uh, for about 2,000 baht. Now the staff of Key Visa will do this renewal for you, you so you don't have to waste half a day at immigration. Now, now depending on your age, uh, if you're married to a Thai lady or have Thai children, there are different types of visa available. So we can start with a type O retirement visa to stay in Thailand if you're over 50 years of age. Now you should not do this process in your own country at a Thai embassy as you cannot get a type O visa they will force you to get a type O A visa which requires very expensive insurance with a Thai only insurance company which you may not want better come to Thailand on a 60-day tourist visa or a visa exemption stamp if you like and then within the first week after you arrive come here to see key visa now what paperwork do people need to bring with them when they want to get a, a type or retirement visa you need your passport obviously and just two passport size photographs now you will also need the following which key visa can help you with you'll need a bank 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 account which is not easy to get on its own as in ask you to provide loads and loads of info from your embassy and all sorts of things um, but if you go through key visa it's a lot easier now you need proof of where you're staying like a condo lease or a hotel invoice uh, you need 800,000 Thai baht or 23,000 US dollars in this bank, this bank, bank account you, you've just opened. Now, there is an option to show that you can transfer 65,000 baht, which is $1,900, 
US dollars per month as a pension into this bank account. However, that would be impossible to show on your first year as you've only just opened the bank account. So that 65,000 option only really becomes viable after the end of the first year when you have proof to show you've got you've transferred the money over a year. Uh, so your first year really has to show 800,000 baht in your bank up bank. Now regarding the 800,000 baht, um, it, which needs to be in your new bank account, some of you guys have shown some reluctance to transfer that amount to Thailand, which I do understand. Uh, now if you're one of those guys, then once again Key Visa can help with that problem. Or as Darren used to say, it can be facilitated. Now, when you have your retirement visa, you will then have to go to immigration or an agent like Key Visa every 90 days to confirm your residency. And this doesn't necessarily run in conjunction with your visa. They're two separate things, so don't mix them up. And the timings are different as well. So, um, they, they staple a small slip of paper into your passport giving you the date of the next 90 days. Now, if you don't want uh, any hassle losing half a, half a day at immigration, then Kiwis can do this for you as well. Now, something else you should know is that the normal visa is a single entry visa. But if you intend to go in and out of Thailand several times in a year, then you will need a multiple entry visa, which costs about 4,000 baht or 116 US dollars extra on top of the normal visa cost. Now, if it's your first retirement visa, then you need to get two visas which can be done together. The type O, I mentioned earlier, and a retirement visa. Now, the cost of this is usually, with most agents, around 25,000 baht or 730 US dollars. Uh, but the second retirement visa, a year later, is just a little over half that price. Now, uh, something else which we uh, should be mentioned is the re-entry permit. Now, if you do leave Thailand, even for one day, and you don't have a multiple entry visa, then you are advised to get a re-entry permit to safeguard your visa, which key visa can obtain for you. Now then, going on to marriage visas. The amount you need to show in your Thai bank is halved to 400,000 baht, or 11,600 US dollars. Or, key visa can help to facilitate this as well. Now, what happens if you get divorced when you have a marriage visa? Okay, you get divorced from your Thai wife, you then lose your marriage visa immediately, automatically. And you need straight away to change to a different type of visa. Now, if you're over 50, you can use, do a retirement visa. Now, another type of visa which they do is uh, a dependency visa. Now, if you've got a child here, you can get a dependency visa uh, to take care of the child. And you don't need to be married to the, to the child's mother. You just need a DNA test to prove it's your child. Another possibility for younger guys, because that would apply to younger guys as well, uh, is an education visa for young guys under 50. Uh, it's possible for a year. The schools have fairly high prices, but you can take advantage of that and learn Thai, you know, if you want to stay here. Um, and they also, Kiwis also do a visa to take a Thai person back to your own country. Now that takes around about eight weeks to, to do that with most countries. Um, border runs are available again, um, but they're limited to two a year. Uh, overland by bus. But if you fly out to say Cambodia or Vietnam uh, and then then you can make several trips before you're questioned and each time uh, you do you can come and go uh, and you can extend the visa e each time you do that. 
Now, another thing which Kiwis do is renewing your own expired passport for your own country. Now, with uh, a UK passport at the moment, that's taking a long time. It can take up to 16 weeks to renew a UK passport. But the, a US passport is much quicker as they're printed in Bangkok. And Irish and Australian passports can also be renewed. Now, if you're unsure about visa options to suit your situation, just come down and ask which is the best route to take. You don't need to make an appointment. You can just walk in. Now, opening hours are Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So that is all the information which Kiwis asked me to relay to you. So I'll just go across the road and say hello to the staff at Key Visa. And of course, please help me with the algorithm, guys. Please like and subscribe and share and ring the bell. Uh, especially share, please. And of course, uh, have a little look at Patreon if you do like to watch uh, videos without adverts. There's none at all on Patreon. So, uh, so I'll just... Uh, Go into KBSA and say hello to the staff. Just a quick hello, that's all. Uh, so you can see it's still open and running very well, doing lots of visas. So it's being run, of course, as usual by Anne, the manageress, uh, and uh, the other staff, and of course, Darren's wife. Hello, Anne. How are you? Yeah, cool. Thank you. Yeah. How are you today? Good. You have a good song, Cran? Yeah. Yeah, have a good holiday. You go yeah. play water. <laughs> very good, very good. Right, how are you? Okay. You okay? Right. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. I'll just put up uh, a picture of the business cards which has all the contact details and emails and everything. Okay, so thank you for watching guys. As I said before, please subscribe and look at Patreon. And thanks very much guys. See you in the next one.